Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, July 1st, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And yes, we did break uh, lower today and then rally the end of the session. So there's still uh, quite a lot of room to the upside here in the RSI. We are at 6470 is where we're getting to overbought con conditions and we're not really there yet. So we may push this a little bit higher. Uh, expected a pullback at the 4,300. We did get that very minor pullback. But at the moment, the last three days, nothing really has happened. We have been basically been trading sideways. So a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band or towards the 50 moving average, that will probably get more interest from buyers and they will come in and buy this to the upside. 4,400 is still the target here. And uh, at this point, we're only 100 points away from that. But uh, at the moment, we are at the top of the Bollinger Band. Uh, technical indicators, MACD is still bullish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is still bullish, and so is the RSI. And there's a little bit of room to the upside. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So Dow Jones really took off today. We fell below the 50 moving average down at the uh, 34,136, uh, give or take. And then rallied significantly up nearly 1% at the 30, uh, 34,548. And we basically took out these previous uh, highs here. Indicators that we could you know, be heading towards the 35,000. Technical indicators, they are all very bullish at this point. MACD is bullish in bullish territory as well. So is the stochastic, so is the CCI, and so is the RSI. So they do favor the upside um, and a pull uh, this rally here at the end of the session was a very um, a positive sign for the Dow Jones. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ has been an absolute role since we, uh, basically in, since the mid or the beginning of May and to the 1st of June, July now, this has just been rallying. So it has, uh, it broke above the 50 moving average here. It has been bouncing off the 20 exponential ever since. We're getting fairly overstretched at this point. We're also on the edge of being overbought. So a pullback towards the middle of 20 exponential as probably as far as this will go. That is the previous highs here. That is also at 14,173, give or take. And that is probably as far as this will go. If it, if it gets uh, oversold, then we'll probably drop towards the 50 moving average down here at 13,800 and probably all the way down towards the 13,500, give or take. That's, that is uh, very, I'll really have something really has to change in the market in order for this to basically drop to those levels again. You can see this is probably as far as it will go at the 14,000, which is also the area here. So drop towards this area and up is probably what we'll witness in the next few days. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see the MACD is very bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and the CCI is bullish as well. While the RSI is leveling off, we're on in the on the edge of being um, overbought, and we're also having a minor pullback today. So let's look at the German DAX. So German DAX fell towards the 50 moving average and then bounced. So we're right underneath the 20 exponential. So it has been trading sideways for the last two weeks. And um, we haven't managed to really break towards the upside, towards 16,000, which probably is going to be the target here. If we were to break below the the 50 moving average we could be dropping down to 15 and after that all the way down to the 200 moving average um, but we are far away from that because as we saw today as well when this gets close to the 50 moving average people are willing to buy into uh, that uh, fall towards the 50. Uh, but if you look at technical indicators they are not very um, bullish at this point. MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is crossing the signal line becoming bearish as well the same goes for the cci and so is the rsi is also bearish at this point so momentum is definitely to the downside but this rally at the end of the session that is um 
interesting because that basically means that people are interested in basically buying the, at this at these dips. So let's look at the UK FTSE. So also here we broke towards uh, 7,000 and then rallied above the 50 moving average. But also here is looking fairly negative. Uh, most of the European indices are, well, looking fairly negative. That is, uh, there are a lot of concerns um, um, regarding inflation still, and there are also concerns regarding um, the reappearance of the, the coronavirus. So, so of course, that will um, have an effect. It, it has not had this effect, but it does have an effect on, on the market, um, especially if the market is in this area here where it's significantly overstretched and overbought, and then it will have a massive effect. But at this point, we see 17,000, uh, 7,000, sorry, it should be the bottom. If that breaks, then we could drop towards 6,750 and then the 200 moving average. And that's probably as far as this market will go. Uh, we haven't basically been missing the 200 moving average since uh, this was November last year. Since then, we have been in an uptrend. And as long as we are above the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average and so on, we are can continue this uptrend probably up towards at 7,500. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CGI is bearish, and so is the RSI. So let's look at the China 50. So China 50 has uh, rallied from the 200 moving average. And uh, yes, that is a fairly good sign for the China 50 that the 200 moving average is still acting as support. If we were to break uh, significantly below that, then we could drop towards 16,000 and 15,000. But we uh, can see it right here and also here and also here that uh, we have eventually dropped below the 200 moving average and then rallied. And uh, we are still in a gradual grind to the upside. We had this massive move rally towards the upside, but it really it fell quite fast back down. But as long as we are grinding, then we could be visiting 18,000, 19,000. Um, but it will just take much, much longer. If you look at the technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bearish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. So momentum, according to these technical indicators, is definitely to the downside. So hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.